Today we worship in song and dance. Together we pray. We feast on God's word and wisdom and give to God our praises, thanks, and offerings. Let us break loose from the limiting mold of bodily proximity, transcend our physical shells, and reach out beyond space to God and to one another. To shake and hold hands, to hug, and to give one another holy kisses through this God-sent technology. I pray and wish we were really physically actually together now. But given the present challenge set before us and the world, I am quite thankful, and I hope you too, that we could be together at least this way. Now, God bless us all. Mark 8, 22 to 26. Dinala ng ilang tao kay Jesus ang isang bulag at pinakausapan nilang hipuin niya ang taong ito. Inakay niya ang bulag at dinala ito sa labas ng bayan. Matapos duraan na takpan ng mga mata nito ng kanyang kamay, tinanong ni Jesus, May nakikita ka ba? Tumingin ang lalaki at sumagot, Nakakakita po ako ng mga tao, ngunit para silang mga punong kahoy na naglalakad. Muling inilagay ni Jesus ang kanyang mga kamay sa mga mata ng bulag. Sa pagkakataong ito, tuminging mabuti ang bulag. Nanumbalik ang kanyang paningin at nakakita na siya ng malinaw. Sinabi sa kanya ni Jesus, maaari ka ng muwi. Huwag ka nang bumalik sa bayan. Ask big. Lakihan ang hinihingi. Salamat, Panginoon, dahil kayo'y pwedeng hingan. At kayo'y mapagbigay, kayo'y mabait, kayo'y masagana. Sa sandaling ito, patuloy niyo po kami, Panginoon, na papagliwanagan ng iyong katotroan, katotohanan, at maging gabay ito. Ang aming mga lalo pang mauuno mula sa inyo, maging gabay sa aming pangaraw-araw na buhay. Be our speaker, our teacher, our preacher, our healer. We seek you, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, and Healer. Ask big. Nung nanalangin kayo ngayong umaga, ano pinag-pray nyo? Pag may hinihingi ba tayo sa Panginoon, ano ang size? Maliit na pangarap ba o malaki? Barya-barya ba o fabulous? Isa-isahin natin at hanapan natin ang aral Ang napakagandang kwentong ito. Mark 8.22 Some people brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch the man. He was blind. It was a very significant disability. And of course, it causes significant isolation. But Jesus is the opposite of this because he had extreme power and ability. And it was more than enough, more than enough for the weakness and the disability of the man. So the Lord gave extreme connection as against the isolation that the man had been suffering from. Mark 8, 23, So Jesus held him, or held the man, the blind man's hand, and led him out of the village. So Jesus touched the man, hand in hand, he led the man away from the crowd. This was the style of Jesus. He did not want to be a show. He did not want to be a circus. And probably there were a lot of non-believers in the crowds. Mga kokontra lang sa nagaganap, distraction, abala sa attention nitong taong pagagalingin. So hand in hand, he led the man into his very private space. Sila lang ang napag-isa. He led the man into his very private audience, into his very private and personal revelation, into Jesus' inner sanctum. Para rin yung sinasabi niya sa mga kanyang turo ng pagdarasal, go to your room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. May nagaganap pag tayo'y napag-iisa kasama ni Jesus. To heal and to know Jesus, have personal, private time and space with Him. What we do together, we worship together, we learn together, we fellowship together, that is very beautiful and powerful, but that should be balanced. 
by alone time with the Lord. Hindi dapat laging maraming tao. Hindi dapat laging maraming kasama may panahon na naguulayaw kayo ng Panginoon mag-isa. Develop a very personal spirituality. Huwag iasa sa lahat ng Bible study teacher ang pag-aaral. Huwag iasa sa lahat ng preacher ang pagninilay-nilay sa mga karunungan na ibinibigay ng Diyos. Huwag iasa sa lahat ng tao ang pagdarasal para sa iyo. Kailangan meron kang personal na ugnayan sa Diyos. Maganda na sana ang pagkakataon para ipakita ni Jesus ang kapangyarihan niya sa lahat, pero minarapat niyang mapag-isa kasama ang bulag na ito. Marapat bigyan din natin ang ating sarili ng pagkakataon na mapag-isa kasama ang Panginoon. Huwag pababayaan yung personal quiet time bago magsimula ang inyong araw o bago ito matapos at mas maganda, parehong meron. Mark 8.23 Then he spit on the man's eyes. He laid his hands on him and asked, Can you see now? So there was this saliva from Jesus' mouth into the man's eyes. And then there was the laying on of hands. How personally connected could anyone get? This was very, very personal. Mark 8.24 The man looked up and said, Yes, I see people. They look like trees walking around. But we all know na walang ibang tao. So yung tao, matapos lagyan ni Jesus ng laway niya doon sa mata at hipuin yung mata at pinadilat, may vision, pero partial. Wanting kulang. At kung titingnan natin yung katumbas niyan sa spirituality natin, yes, Meron na tayong touch from the Lord. Yes, meron na tayong dealing from the Lord. Yung kumbaga saliva from His mouth, we eat His words. Pero may kulang. Partial yung understanding, wanting, blurred. So kailangan may mangyari pa. So ophthalmology, ang tawag nila dito, agnosia. When a blind patient first receives vision, light and movement and color are all mixed up and seemingly meaningless. Just a blur. So kahit ang modern na uh, ophthalmology will give us a hint kung ano yung nangyayari doon sa tao na yun. Partial vision. Pero ang mahalaga nating tungayan, yung spiritual application. Maraming marami sa mga tao, partial pa rin ang vision. Partial pa rin ang pagkakilala sa Panginoon. Partial lahat. Kalakalahat eh. But a one-half Christian is a one-whole nonsense. Dapat buo. Tulad nung pananaw ng taong ito, dapat buo. Hindi pwedeng konti-konti lang. Dahil si Jesus ang nagpapagaling sa kanya. So, the patient tells his healer. The patient confesses his real situation. Naranasan nyo na ba na tinatanong kayo ng Dr. Og, bumuti na buba, pakiramdam nyo. Pero dahil naman naaawa ka sa doktor na sabihin hindi, walang talabang ginawa niya, o oh, nahihiya ka pag aminin na hindi siya effective sa iyo. Oh, po, doktor, bumuti-buti. Dahil bumuti-buti ka na, o di, tama na, uwi na. Itong lalaking ito, nagtapat. Para po ako nakakita ng mga taong nagagalawan na mga mukhang puno. Hindi ko malaman kung tao ba sila o puno sila. So the seeker actually asks for more healing by revealing his situation. He was asking big Ganon din tayo mga kapatid sa spirito. Hindi pwedeng, o oh, si okay na ako, pwede na po, okay na, uwi na. May natutunan na ako, may nalaman na ako, no. Sabi niya, kulang. At dahil kulang, edi eh, punan. Pero ang mahalaga, ipagtapat. Kailangan ipagtapat mo sa Panginoon kung nasan ka eh. Kung anong kulang, nakukulangan ka ba para gawan niya ng paraan. Mark 8.25 Again, Jesus laid his hands on the man's eyes. And the man opened them wide. Nagtulungan na ngayon. Dinampian ni Jesus ang kamay niya, ang mga mata, at yan namang lalaki, sinikap niya magdumilat. Siguro, pakit pa lang siya kanina, papungay-pungay, pero dahil hindi effective, nandilat siya. His eyes were healed. And he was able to see everything 
clearly. The man asks for more. Jesus does more, gives more. The man also does more by opening his eyes wide open. The giving gets completed. Think of that, brothers and sisters, in spiritual terms. When you tell the Lord, Lord, I want to see you more clearly. I want to know more. I want to grow more. I want to be more like you. Tapos hihipuin ka pa niya, tutuluan ka pa niya, at ikaw naman, didilatin mo pa yung mata mo, gagawa ka ng paraan para mas makakita ka and the blessing is delivered. Do more if you want more. Contento na ba tayo sa ating spirituality, sa ating pananampalataya, sa pagiging effective ng ating mga dalangin, sa pagtugon ng Panginoon sa ating mga dalangin? Kung may kulang, sabihin niyo, Lord, konti pa lang, dagdagan natin. Ito ako, didilata ko pa yung mata ko. Dadamihan ko pa ng waras ng pag-aaral, ng panalangin, ng mga gawain, baka kapagpalago sa akin spiritually. And of course, you can also apply that academically, professionally. Kung saan kayo kulang, kailangan man dilat ka pa. Gumawa ka ng paraan at pahipo ka kay Jesus. The story is so beautiful in its literal value, but in its metaphorical value, it becomes even more valuable to all of us. Kasi hindi naman tayo lahat may ophthalmology issues. Hindi naman tayo lahat bulag physically. Hindi naman tayo lahat ay mayroong mga kakulangan o agnosia. Pero spiritually, maaaring lahat tayo kulang. So stretch the meaning of this story to make it very true in your personal life. And then Mark 8.26, after the man had been healed completely, Jesus told him to go home. He said, don't go into the town. Baka doon na bulag eh. Obviously, hindi naman siya blind at birth kasi sabi niya, I see people who are moving like trees. Therefore, he had an idea how people and trees look like. So dati siya nakakakita na bulag siya. Baka nasobrahan sa alak to na bulag. O baka sa sobra niya, ang kasasayaw doon, nasundot ang mata niya, nabulag siya. We don't know what happened to him. Sabi ni Jesus, don't go to town. But of course, it is very consistent with the many dealings of Jesus. He always told the people he healed to just go home quietly. Don't tell people about it. Telling healed patients to not make a lot of noise about his miracles is our current theme in the miracles of Jesus. Jesus wanted to be known as Savior not as a miracle factory. Ayaw niyang i-market yung napakahalaga niyang teaching on salvation by gimmickry sa pag-attract sa mga tao, sa mga cheap thrills and miraculous signs. Gusto niya yung essence, yung pinakmalalim na espiritu ng kanyang katuroan ang pagtunan ng pansin. Going home after getting healed, that's another recurrent theme in the Jesus miracles. Jesus gave great importance to family. To family reunion, family restoration, to family unity. Lalo yung mga nagkakasakit, na kumisa naman hindi inaalagaan ng pamilya nila, tinatakwil. Tapos yung mga may ketong, gustuhin man nila o hindi itakwil, kailangan ilayo yan sa pamilya. Yung mga nagkakasakit na iba, sila na mismo ang lumalayo sa pamilya dahil nahihiya sila maging pabigat o hindi nila nararamdaman na minamahal sila, lumalayo sila. So si Jesus yung mga pinapagaling niya, sabi niya, uwi ka. Even that person who was possessed by many demons, gusto nang sumunod kay Jesus, sabi ni Jesus, go home to your family. Because he wants healed people to be healers to their families. He wants those people who were away from their loved ones for a long time to be reunited with them. Mga kapatid, kung nakaranas din kayo ng pagpapagaling ng Panginoon, physically, and very importantly, spiritually and emotionally, the message echoes across time and space into our very ears today. And Jesus is saying, go home to your family. Kung naging pabaya ka sa pamilya, nagkawatak-wata kayo, tapos nagkaroon ka ng spiritual experience, at nakita mo ang Panginoon, naramdaman mo, sabi niya, go home to your family. Fix your life. Ayusin mo yan. 
So when Jesus tells you to go home, it means get connected again. And if you were wronged, then get fixed. Or if you did something wrong, then you fix it. Ang mahalaga, magbalikan, magmahalan, ayusin ang buhay. Through and by Jesus, God can give big. Ang yaman-yaman ng Diyos, everything God owns. So, kaya niya. Mas malaki ang Diyos kaysa problema mo ngayon. Ano man yun? 2 Corinthians 9.8 And God is able to bless you abundantly. Kaya lang may mga tamang paraan ng paglapit sa Diyos para yung gustong-gusto niyang ibigay, ay eh maibigay nga niya. Kasi madalas, tayo mismo, yung asal natin, o kakulangan ng pananalig, ang hadlang para dumaloy ng lubusan ang pagpapala ng Diyos sa ating buhay. So approach God through Jesus. People who are trying to approach God through the law, through sacrifices, through religion, and all that failed. That's why God sent His Son. Approach God through Jesusness. And the best highway to God is kindness to others. You want God to listen to your prayers, to grant your big requests? Initiate the relationship. Be kind to others. Natatandaan nyo yung sinasabi ng Panginoon, Come, enjoy the inheritance that the Father has prepared for you before the beginning of time. Because I was hungry, you fed me. I was sick, you took care of me. I was in prison, you visited me. Ang tunay na ibig sabihin ng righteousness in New Testament, in the Jesus context, righteousness is not abiding by religious law. Righteousness is not moral 100% purity. Righteousness to Jesus is kindness to others. And when you are kind to people, you are in the right path. And you can ask big. If you are not kind to others, the reverse. Do not expect abundant kindness from God. Although kind pa rin sa atin ang Diyos. But don't expect abundant kindness. You want to be blessed? First be a blessing. You want to receive? First give. Give your love, give your time, your attention. This is the Jesus way. Kaya, He is the way. This is the truth. That the truth of the Father's heart, the true way to the Father's heart, is kindness to others. This is Jesusness. The message of the Gospels. The message that Jesus died for and lived again for. God does big. Ang Diyos sobrang kahanga-hanga. Marami sa atin, Puro takot sa Diyos ang iniisip, hindi yung pananabik sa Diyos, pakikipagmahalan sa Diyos. Puro na lamang legal fear, puro guilt, layo katuloy ng layo sa Diyos. Meron pang, uy, ba't di ka mag-church? Kakaya, ang dami kong kasalanan. Lalo ka dapat mag-church. Nakakalayo-layo ka na pa, lubulubog-lubog ka na, lalayo ka pa lalo. Eh, nakakaya sa Diyos. Huwag ka na mahiya. Dahil mahal ka ng Diyos. Napakahalaga na maintindihan natin kung sino ang ama na ipinapakilala ng anak. Si Solomon, nung naging hari, binigyan ng Diyos ng pagkakataong humiling ng anumang bagay. 1 Kings 3, 12-13 Ang hiningi ni Solomon, talino, para maging mabuti siyang hari. Therefore, mapaglingkuran niya ang mga tao na minamahal ng Diyos. Sabi ng Diyos, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never have been anyone like you nor will there ever be. Moreover, kala mo tapos na, may moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. Ang hiningin ni Solomon, hindi para sa kanya, ang hiningin niya talino, para maging mabuti siyang pinuno. At dahil natuwa ang Diyos, sa niya, ibibigay ko yung hiningi mo. After all, that is what I want. It is according to my will. And you know that the Bible says, when we pray according to His will, God hears us. And definitely, it was within God's will that Solomon be a good king. He asked for that, God granted it. At sabi niya, alam mo, yung hindi mo hiningi, dadagdag ko, papayamanin kita, walang mas magiging mayaman higit sa'yo. 
At gagawin kitang tanyag, bantog. I will make you very, very famous. And of course, we know that during the time of Solomon, kings, monarchs, royals, everybody went to his court just to hear him speak, to hear his wisdom. And those that could not go personally sent ambassadors to take notes of what he was saying so that those notes can be recited in those many royal courts far from Jerusalem. So give God space to decide what to give you. Humingi siya, pero hindi naman niya isinara yung pinto sa iba eh. Yung iba, Lord, ito lang po hinihingi ko. Merong isang kanta, yung ang tanging, ito ang tanging hiling ko, ito lang po hinihiling ko. Eh, ba't di ba damihan? Ito lang po ang dasal ko, Diyos. Meron ba, Lord, pakinggan niyo lang po ako, hindi po kakain ng masarap na limang araw. Bakit? Sabi mo, Lord, hihingi na po ako at kakain pa ako ng masarap. Then, God wants to give you big. Ang liit-liit ng pagkakilala natin sa Diyos. Kailangan palagi makipagtawaran na pag may hihingin ka, may give up ka. Lord, pata patapusin mo lang po ako ng college, sige, give up ko na ang aking boyfriend. Ba't di mahingi sabay? Ba't kailangan may give up ka? Alam niyo kung sino nag-give up? Once for all, ang ama gave his son for us. The same sacrifice is not required of you. Ang hinihingi niya lang, i-give up mo yung sagabal sa sarili mong kabanalan, kaligayahan, kaayosan. Pero God is not pleased with sacrifices. God is pleased with hearts that love, hearts that obey His teachings on kindness. So do not limit God with narrow specifications. Isa ng mga prayer natin, very specific. Ah, humihingi ka ng 10 million eh. 20 pa naman bala ko di 10. Yan ang hinihiling mo eh. Dapat meron tayong space for God to move because God is God. At hindi natin siya laging pwedeng i-second guess. God wills to give big. Itanim natin sa utak natin yan. Hindi siya kuripot. Kumisan may hindi siya binibigay o kinokontihan niya ang bigay kasi hindi mo kayang dalhin pag marami. Parang 10 watts sa bumbilya ka lang pala, humingi ka ng 1,000 volts, sasabog ka lang. So hindi bagay sa'yo yung umaman mas bagay sa yung maralit ha. Kasi maralit ang utak mo. Pag nagkapera ka, aawain mo yung kaya, dati mo kaibigan, lalayo ka sa kanila, magbubisyo ka lang. Ang ganda-ganda ng buhay nyo, nung nagkapera ka, nagkaroon ng kutakot-takot ng mga ibang asawa, kaya bagay sa yung maralit ha. So, hindi tayo gusto na maralit ha na Diyos. God doesn't want us to be poor. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. But when you cannot take it, when you cannot accommodate, that's when you are given limited resources. So, palawakin natin ang utak natin, ang ating puso, ang ating kakayanan, at kasabay nun, proportionately, nalawak ang ating resources. Nakakita ko once sa isang poster ng Earth, una close, para laki-laki ng Earth. Tapos biglang ipinakita sa malayo, isang pagkaliit-liit na tuldok in the Milky Way, tapos may arrow, you are here. Para isang tuldok. Kita nyo ang liit-liit nung kinakalagyan natin. Ang dami-dami pang meron. Ang dami-dami-dami pa. So don't limit God. God wills to give big. Pinatunayan niya ano, ang kanya mismo anak na si Jesus ibinigay niya. Romans 8.32 He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Kung ang kanyang anak na si Jesus, ibinigay na, meron pa kaya siya ipagkakait. Kung tama lang ang hinihingi mo at tama ang iyong paraan at kung bagay sa iyo ang hinihingi mo. God does not have to be convinced to be good. God is good. Begin from that note that God is good, God is rich, and God likes to give you big. Psalm 31, 19, How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. So yung mga sumisilong sa Panginoon, yung mga sumusunod sa Kanya, in full view of everybody else, God favors very specially. Kaya ang sinasabi sa Psalm 23, you set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. 
Can you imagine that? You have enemies and God says a table before you. Of course, the meaning in Bedouin and the desert culture should not be lost. But because among desert dwellers, then and until now, in many villages, when a desert dweller eats with you, sets food before you in his tent, and you eat outside of his tent, seen by the neighbors, it means this desert dweller will give you his life. Nobody can touch you na hindi dadaan sa kanya. At yan ang sinasabi, you set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Napakabait ng Diyos. Lumagay tayo sa lugar in the path of blessing para ma-receive yun. So you can ask big. Hihingi rin lang lakihan na. Yung iba dyan, hingi na hingi, Lord, bigyan nyo naman po ako ng sunblock. Alam nyo si Joshua, ang hiningi niya, huwag pagalawin yung araw. Joshua 10, 12-13, about noon, Joshua prayed to the Lord, Our Lord, make the sun stop in the sky over Gibeon, and the moon stand still over Aijalon Valley. Listen. So the sun and the moon stopped and stood still. Tumigil kayo ng kahihingi ng sunblock lang. Yung araw nga nahihingi. They had a war that they had to win and they needed light. Can you imagine the entire creation stopping because of the prayer of this man? So, huwag mga sunblock, sunblock lang ang gawing goal sa buhay. Lakihan nyo. Mayaman ang Diyos natin. Huwag natin i-condition ang ating utak na makontento sa kulang, sa konte. Sabi nitong bulag, nakakakita na ako pero kulang. Para mga puno mga tao, hindi ko maintindi, naggagalawan. It means more. John 15, 7, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Merong if, ha? If you remain in me, and my words remain in you. Because if the words of Jesus remains in us, we understand Him, we know what He will give, and we ask for it. John 16, 24, Ask, and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. Hindi bitin, hindi kulang, hindi ani-aninag lang, malinaw na pananaw so that your joy will be complete. Ipinagpe-pray mo lang, Lord, bumait po sana yung asawa ko. Lakihan mo, sabi mo, Lord, ako po ang pabaitin nyo. E di ang laki na mangyayari, sabay kayo pinabait. E dasal ka ng dasal, siya lang, baguhin nyo po asawa ko. Ba't di po, sabihin ikaw din, baguhin. Para malaki. Ang blessing. Importante. Magkaintindihan ang mga hindi nagkakaintindihan. At sabi ng Panginoon sa Matthew 17, 20, nothing will be impossible for you. Dapat yung imposible, wala sa vocabulary ng mga Kristiyano. Mayroon bang imposible? Oh, break tayo. Bakit tayo nandito ngayon lahat? Tanong nyo ba yan? Sino nagtatanong, bakit tayo biglang nandito? May I see your hands? Yung iba, wala kamay? O alam nyo, last Tuesday, Tuesday, this week, the Cultural Center of the Philippines called us to a meeting with their admin only to tell us that they had new and recent findings that the building is condemned. It's so dangerous and they were awakened, especially by that earthquake in Batanes. That the building was further damaged. It's an earthquake dito sa Metro Manila around two months ago, more or less. Pinaaral nila yan. I talked with Margie Moran, who is also a friend of ours, and who is chair of CCP. Are we safe? Are we okay? And we're always checking, checking all the time, kahit nun, 14 years. Pinapacheck lagi kung baka lumaglag yung mga may everything. I will not want any one of you na malaglagan kahit ng daga. And you know, we were told, you have to vacate the place. That was Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday, we had a worship. We would have had a worship. And Sunday ito, Sunday lilipat. Where will I find a roof to put over all of your heads? A big ship cannot turn so quickly. So frenetic arrangements were made. Nagahanap tayo ng mga hotel 
uh, mga ballrooms, kung ano-ano mga hall dyan, pati ilalim ng tulay sa kiyapo, tinayo ko kasi ba tayo dito? Baka pwede, baka lang tayo paalisin ng mayor. That was 2 o'clock Tuesday. I said, sa boardroom mismo ng cultural center. So, may I use your phone? Of course man, yes. So, someone in my group called. And we friend, frantically came here to talk to some people. Before the day was over, nagbayad tayo, nabook na natin ito. Una, miracle, may ibinayad tayo. Pero may mas malaking miracle. Bigla-bigla mo ba namang makakaladkad tong hall na to? Pag nakabook na tayo, mga kapatid, buong buwan. All the Sundays of this month, at ang inaayos natin, buong taon. At sana hanggang bumalik ang Panginoon, dito na tayo. Gusto nyo ba dito? Lakasan nyo palakbak para marinig. Salamat sa folk arts. Labing apat na taon tayo dyan. Mahal na mahal natin yan. But when the Lord says, pull up your tents and move, ganun yung exodus, pull up the tents and move. We have the heritage of a pilgrim people. Lagi marami nagtatanong, ba't hindi na lang po kayo bumili ng lote at para may building kayo? Bibili ka ng ganitong kalaki para magkasa itong mga taong to. Sa tayo makakabili? Sa Pililya Rizal, pupunta kayo? <laughs> eh, adami-dami natin. Gusto ko maraming maraming parking lot. O, pa, paano yon? Kaya mas gusto ko nila mag-rent. Kasi mas napipili mo yung lugar. Pag lumaki kayo, lakihan. Pag lumiit kayo, dilitan. Nakaka-adapt. And then we can focus on the more important things, our spiritual feeding. Iyo kung magkautang-utang tayo, mag-fundraising ako. Pag nakikita niyo ako, bukang peso sign. <laughs> Dahil may pinapatayo tayong building. No, no, no. What we can afford, that's where we go. Because we also allocate many of our resources to our social work, to our charities, to our missions. Salamat because napaka-accommodating ng PICC. You know, the Folk Arts Theater belong to the Cultural Center of the Philippines, but the PICC belong to the Central Bank of the Philippines. So, ibang kausap doon. Pero may isang Diyos over everybody. And the Lord has placed us here. Salamat sa Panginoon. At salamat din sa lahat ng tumulong. Alam nyo ngayon, naglilipat tayo lahat, yung lahat ng naipo natin gamit doon sa isang ektaryang sahig ng folk arts. Hindi natin namalayan. Ang dami pa nating nilagay. Ngayon, kailangan pagkasahin natin muli sa ating sariling building sa Makati. You know, somebody has to swing everything. But yes, so many people were very helpful, kaya tayo narito. At next week, lolobby ng Panginoon, narito pa rin tayo at ipanalangin nyo na yung mga araw na may fully na talagang book na dito definitely all throughout some time lilipat tayo na ibang venue yung ibang iba sabi wow nag-level up ang day by day no 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 going to PICC is not a leveling up because ikundin nila tayo ng Panginoon sa isang bodega anong itatawag nyo dun? ang bulwagan ng Panginoon ay kung saan siya sinasamba PICC man yun o ilalim ng tulay o ilalim ng puno aircon man o hindi o mga kababaihan, matatahimik na yung buhok nyo kasi sa buhok kasi tatayuan yung buhok nyo sa lakas ng, air, ng hangin. Salamat talaga sa mga nagbigay ng electric fan. Huwag nyo na sanang bawiin. So, importante mga kapatid, we always thank God and uh, kung saan tayo dalin. Hindi kailangan na papili. Ang mahalaga, because ang ating puso, yan ang bulwagan ng Panginoon. Kahit saan magpunta ang worshiper, nandun ang Panginoon, sabi ni Jesus, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. So the Lord is here. Ito ngayon, isang bulwagan ng Panginoon. Ang nakaraan, balik na pala tayo sa message, no? John 15:7. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, I like to emphasize that, ask for whatever you wish. Nung, na wala yung, bigla yung potential ng folk arts to be our home. Of course, we immediately thought of this. But first, at gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, there had been negotiations na mag-worship tayo sa main theater ng CCP. Noon pa, gusto kong dalin tayo doon. At dito, I was thinking of the plenary hall. Parang ako yung nag, si Solomon nagpe-pray ng wisdom only, may iba pa pala. Because this hall, I think, is much better for our needs. Yung plenary hall, terrace, terrace, terrace yun. Pag nandun ko sa balcony 2, kaway, na lang kayo ng kaibigan mo na nandun sa balcony 1, ang hirap magpalipat-lipat. Dito, magpagulong-gulong kayo dyan. Pwede. 
We will do our Sunday school here, our Bible studies, our junior Sunday school, our paaralan ng buhay, our meetings, and our fellowships because we will do our 7 to 8.30 worship as usual. And because we will be here 7 to 12, then 8.30 to 9.30, one hour, 9.30 to 10.30 before the second service begins, ang hall na ito ang gagamitin natin for all our other purposes. So, importante na mapanatili natin ang maintenance ng building, that we respect the policies of the PICC, which is meant to be for the betterment of everyone who uses this wonderful facility. So, walang nawala sa mga activities natin, meron lang tayong adjustments. There will be some adjustments, and during the week, ang ating office sa Makati, kunin nyo na lang yung address. Nasa at Anong office natin ngayon? Nasa likod? Admin office. Alam nyo ibig sabihin nun? Yung mga nagdadala ng donation, doon nyo dalhin. Kaya yan, ang daon ako ipatayo dyan. Ayun. No, meron din tayo, syempre, mga inquiries. When you need things, you go there. Yan yung temporary office natin. Pag Sunday, nandiyan tayo. I have to tell you all this kasi ang daming tanong-tanungan. No? So, kailangan na isingit yan. Bumalik na tayo sa mga kabanalan. You can receive big. Believe that. Job 42.10 after Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. You know the story, this classic story of suffering ni Job, na wala lahat ng kayamanan, namatay mga anak, everything, and yet, kahit matanda na siya, na doble pa ang mga kayamanan, nagkaroon pa siya uli ng mga anak, in other words, na doble pa ang ligaya niya sa Panginoon. Hindi siya bumitaw. At siya'y nagantimpalaan. When you don't receive big, it could mean that you don't ask big. James 4.2, you do not have because you do not ask God. At syempre, may kasunod yan, which is not our topic now. When you don't receive big, it could mean that you don't believe big because as much as you believe, that is what you will receive. James 1.6-8, Subalit ang humihingi ay dapat magtiwala sa Diyos at huwag mag-alinlangan sapagat ang nag-aalinlangan ay parang alon sa dagat na itinataboy ng hangin kahit saan. Huwag mag-alinlangan. Huwag umasang tatanggap ng anuman mula sa Panginoon ang taong pabago-bago ng isip at di alam kung ano talaga ang nais niya. So again, it's in your mind. Focus on it. Believe in it. Nothing will be impossible for you. Hindi yan empty words. Totoo yan. Nakita niyo yung araw, tumirik doon ng matagal. Ang bagyo, pinapatigil. Matthew 8.26, ngunit sinabi niya sa kanila, ba't kayo natatakot? Napakaliit naman na inyong pananampalataya. Bumangon siya, pinatigil ang hangin at ang mga alon, at bumuti ang panahon. Anong alon sa buhay niyo ngayon ang kinatatakutan niyo? O wala pa man, ini-imagine niyo nang may darating, nabubuhay kayo tuloy sa takot. Pag nangyari ang inyong kinakatakutan, dalawang beses kayo nagdusa, ngayon na ini-imagine nyo yun, at pag nangyari na, at kung hindi man yun mangyari, at least once kayo nagdusa, nung ini-imagine nyo. Discipline your mind. Do not focus on what it makes you afraid. Do not focus on your fears. Focus on Jesus. Focus on the healer, not the sickness. Focus on the answer, not the question. Focus on the power not the weakness. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 17, 20, hindi nila mapaalis yung masamang espiritu doon sa tao. So, bakit di namin magawa? Sumagot siya, dahil maliit ang inyong pananampalataya. Hindi dahil makapangyarihan yung espiritu. Dahil maliit ang inyong pananampalataya. Tandaan nyo, Kung kayo'y may pananampalataya sa Diyos na sinlaki ng buto, ng mustasa, maaari ninyong sabihin sa bundok na ito, lumipat ka ron! At ito'y lilipat nga. Tunay na walang bagay na hindi ninyo magagawa. Dibdibin natin ito kasi totoo ito. Hindi ito figure of speech. The mind, the spirit of humans has great power because we were created in God's image. As long as we operate according to God's will, we stand in the path of power and blessing, nothing will be impossible. When you don't receive big, it could mean that you are only harvesting what you planted. 
E siyempre, konti tinan mo, di konti anihin mo. Luke 6.38, magbigay kayo at kayo ibibigyan din. Hustong takal, siksik, liglig, umaapo pa ang ibibigay sa inyo. Sapagat ang panukat na ginagamit ninyo sa iba, ay siya rin gagamitin panukat sa inyo. So obviously, Jesus is saying, as you give, you receive. Ikaw ang magbibigay ng limit sa iyong marireceive by what you give. And this is not only money, this is not only donation, this is not only offering. The kindness that you give to people, the love that you give, the forgiveness that you give. Kung gano'n lang ang binibigyan natin sa ating kapwa, yun lang din ang tatanggapin natin. Kasi iisa ang panukat. Yung panukat na ginagamit mo sa pagbibigay, yun din ang panukat na itataas mo para bigyan ka. Gusto mong marami kang ma-receive, bigyan mo marami. And it's not only to, for church donations. Kindness to people especially. Love, forgiveness, acceptance, and you will receive it in equal amount. 2 Corinthians 9.6 Ito ang ibig kong sabihin. Ang nagtatanim ng kakaunti ay aani ng kakaunti. At ang nagtatanim ng marami ay aani rin ng marami. Kaya na sa pag-aaral, sa pagnenegosyo, sa pag-aanap buhay, totoo yung universal truth behind this verse. Proverbs 11.24 Ang taong mapagbigay ay lalong yumayaman. Ngunit naghihirap ang tikom ang mga kamay. The wonder of spirituality is this. You keep what you give away and you lose what you selfishly keep. Doon nagbabalans ang lahat sa para mga kabalintunaan, sa mga ironies at mga magkakabaligtad na pagpepresenta ng mga ideya na bubuo. Like, the beginning is the end. That's the circle. And that is the symbol of God. The Alpha and the Omega. So you want to keep? Give it away. You want to lose it? Selfishly, keep it. When we don't receive big, it could mean that you are only receiving what you believe you could and you would receive. So ina-analyze natin kung bakit, bakit ganun? Yung pala pwede ko makatanggap ng big, bakit konti? At nagahanap tayo na maaaring dahilan sa ating mga personal cases. Your reality is your faith. Your faith is your reality. You believe big, your reality becomes big. Matthew 21, 22, If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Nung namatay si Lazarus, pinuntahan ni Jesus, sabi ni Jesus, buksan niyang libingan, dahil tatawagin niya eh. John 11, 39 to 40, But Lord, said Martha, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Huwag niyo pong buksan ang libing, ha? Napat na araw na ang nakalibing. May amoy na. Sabi ni Jesus, di ba sinabi ko sa'yo, kung naniniwala ka, makikita mo ang luwalhati ng Diyos. When you don't receive big, it could mean also that you are being taught a lesson. Maybe you are being taught some virtue. Like patience that would be very useful in some very big future project. James 4.3, when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. So maring, it's a no because it will be bad for you. Or maybe it's a no because you're being taught a virtue. Kaya marami tayong choices mga kapatid kasi marami talagang pwedeng pagkunan ng dahilan kung bakit we don't always receive big. And we like to know which of those are true to us so we can do something to rectify the situation. Job 33, 29 to 30, God does all these things to a person. Yung daw dumadaan sa paghihirap, twice, even three times, to turn them back from the pit that the light of life may shine on them. So meron naman talagang hindi binibigyan, kung may say dumadaan pa sa pagdurusa, para lalo nilang maramdaman ang tapo ng liwanag sa kanila sa tamang panahon. God works in mysterious ways. Able or not able to identify the reasons why we don't always get as big as we want, trust God that His dealing is always right because He likes to give to us. Kung hindi niya tinatatanggap, yun ang mga pwedeng reason. 
Or it could mean that you are being trained for something big. Training pala. Kaya pag may mga taong dumadaan sa paghihirap, yung sabihin, oh, baka may kasalanan ka. May sakit na nga, dinalo mo pa, sis. Baka naman may kasalanan ka. Huwag ka nalang dumalaw. Para kang visitor from hell. Naghihirap na mga tao, usigin mo pa. Hindi mo alam kung yun ba isang trial, yun ba isang training, o kung ano man yun, hindi mo alam. So, shut up. Ang bilis-bilis natin mag-judge. Hindi natin alam. 1 Corinthians 9.25 Athletes work hard to win the crown. So probably this person is only being trained for something that would be very, very victorious. Kung ano man ang kalagayan natin in whatever stage or level or degree, hang on, huwag kang bibitaw sa Panginoon. Mas nawawala ka ng pag-asa, mas dumidilim, mas lalong kailangan mo ang Diyos. Huwag kang magtatampo sa Diyos. Kasi pag nagtampo ka sa Diyos, kanino ka bupunta? Meron pa nga, laging nagme-message, parang gusto ko na po magpakamatay, ang laki ng problema mo. Hindi niya, ang laki po ng problema ko, hirap na hirap na ako. Eh bakit nakakatiya ka ba na sa kabilang buhay, gagaan ang buhay mo? Eh kung namatay ka ngayon, nagpunta ka pa sa impyerno, dinala, lumala ka pa, ay huwag na nga po, tama, tayo, hindi muna ako dapat mamatay. Gusto mo magpakamatay, sure ka ba na mas makakarelax doon? Ano pupunta mo, spa? Hirap na hirap ka na nga, magpapakamatay ka pa. Dapat buhayin mo yung sarili mo. Kasi, nasa Diyos ang ating pag-asa. Huwag kayong bibitaw kahit kailan. Hindi ko. Sino sa atin dito ang mga ganyan, nangihina? Alam na Diyos ang nangyayari sa inyo. More than you know. Just continue. Katulad nitong bulag, ginawa ka ni Lord sa kamay. Halika, lumayo tayo dyan sa kinakalagyan mo. Hayaan mong hakayan ka ng Panginoon. Kung ano man ang private space nyo, at doon kanya pagalingin. Jeremiah 29:11 For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future focus on that kahit kang yung parang hopeless ang plano para sa iyo ng Diyos is hope and a future it will never be permanent whatever suffering you are in whatever difficulty dahil hindi yan ang plano ng Diyos para sa iyo 1 Corinthians 2:9 But as the scriptures say, no one has ever seen, no one has ever heard, no one has ever imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. Hindi pa sumagi sa guni-guni ninyo kung gano kahiwaga, gano kadakila, gano kaganda ang gustong ibigay sa inyo ng Diyos. Buksan ang mata, pandilatin, tulad noong bulag. Minsan may blessing hindi natin makita kasi ay mo idilat ang mata mo. You choose only what to focus on. You have selective memory, selective attention, but open your eyes wide to see the glory of God. Asking big and receiving big are governed by profound laws. Dalawa lang yun. Believe big, give big. Sabi sa Malakai 3.10, and of course the application is not only to material and financial offerings, but to everything in our lives. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse so that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, sabi ng Lord, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that there will be not room enough to store it. Apply it also to love. Give full love to your spouse. Asawa mo na yan eh, kulang-kulang mo pamahalin. Bigyan mo todo. At subukan mo ang Diyos kung hindi ka niya suklian ng napakarami nag-uumapaw na pag-ibig, maaaring galing din sa yung spouse o galing pa kay Santa Claus. O kung kanino-kanino. Pero, sabi ng Panginoon, subukan niyo ako. Give. And I'm always emphatic that this giving is not only in the context of church. Just give love, give kindness, give time, give attention, and see it grow and come back to you. Give your part, do your part, and receive your part. Matthew 6, 14 to 15. For if you forgive others for the wrongs they do to you, your Father in heaven will forgive you. But if you don't forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. So again, hindi lang sa sin ito. Ang concept is universal. What you give is what you get. What you are willing to give to people is what the Lord will give to you through people. So give what you want to receive. 
Luke 6.38, if you give to others, you will be given a full amount in return. It will be packed down, shaken together, and spilling over into your lap. Let Jesus lead you away from your crowd that hinders your healing. Healing ng emotion mo. Kung ikaw laging mag nagdaramdam, laging nagtatampo, laging umiiyak, tapos ang lahat pa ng kausap mo, ganun din. Mga tampurista rin, mga galit din sa mundo. Walk out of that crowd. Let Jesus take you out of it. Lumabas kayo, mga kapatid, sa mga toxic relationships. Eh, asawa ko po. Eh, huwag kang lumabas. Asawa mo pala. Ipanalangin mo magbago ka at siya at sabay kayo. Pero maraming mga relationships toxic. Mga chat rooms na toxic. Mga kausap mo laging toxic. Lagi kang nagagalit. Gusto niyong magalit sa mundo? Gusto niyong manigas at mamatay? Magbasa kayo ng mga comment sa Facebook. Lalo political comment, religious comment. Yun, get out of your crowd that makes you sick. Be alone with Jesus. Enjoy healing with the Lord. Spend quality alone time with Jesus. Then, ask big. Lord, thank you that we can ask big. Nawa sa aming mga narinig, kung may kulang pa, kayo po ang magpuno. Ipaunawa nyo sa amin na napakabuti nyo, napakayaman nyo, at gusto nyo kaming bigyan. Kung ano man yun, be it material, emotional, spiritual, social, intellectual needs, kayo ay mayamang Diyos. Pagbulay-bulayan natin ng ilang saglit kung ano ang personal application nito sa ating-ating mga buhay. Lord, bless your people. Remind us that you want to give big.